Kerrite ki ya ke ya makita ti ya shiki ki ya ki ya tatora ki i. Hai kerrite ki ya mai karato re tin sa ke i ku te ki ti ya lai ka i kuroshi ki tai. Ina kreite ja kuotte teille isäi, kun kuotte teille etä tätä, että itäkö ukeri ikistu kuotu. Okei, tätä olette käkeä kuotte te sikiki ja makai kukurate sikiki ja natari keliki ja makrata. Kina tata ya ke ya kara taka roto ko ke te ke ya la ka i ko roto ka. Kara taka ka ya kara uro ko ko kare re renta ya kara toko roto ke te ke ki ya ya ka ya toto shi ke te ke te ita ka da. Unta ki liinta indu tuku tuku tukere itake ja saaja kurota kiri itake syku udu tuku tiina tiale kia tia kere takara otukuru. Ima kara takare iri kiti kiti ja makai tuturu kurutuko seketi kiti ja nta i nta i nta i kurutu kurutu kere te kiri ja jäisu kuru utake ia ja uhu. Tukuk tu umak deh, lagi ya ya korot tu korot tu ke is. Unsa kereta tu ke ya ya mak korot korot tu ke is. Uh, tu ke ina keli ya ya korot tu korot tu ke si ya ya mak korot tu ke re ita ke ya ya lo korot isi ke tu ke tu ina kere ita kala ya korot tu ke tu. Kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja-kerja
it's not white it's I can't even explain the color <laughs> um, but it's it's a light color um, like eggshells white eggshells mm. and it's just standing there and it reminds me of a cushion because it looks a bit like you know a fluffy being but very tall and very strong at the same time but fluffy somehow or soft and <sighs> it is helping with that's why I'm yawning so much because apparently I'm clearing or there are things that are being cleared a lot of things being cleared out and I hear you are coming out or it's as if they were giving me a foresight or you know um, a a view of your future or our future in which we all have the opportunity to be ourselves to live and speak up and be our authentic selves and not be scared <coughs> we are being valued um, for who we are not what we do or um, achieve it's our energy that the new free i hear the new money is energy so um, it's as if you need to invest in, in, in your energy into your being this is going to be extremely important for the future <clears throat> and speaking up because my throat chakra is <clears throat> blocking again we're getting blocked mm, um, <clears throat> building confidence they are helping you with building confidence and I can see layers being shed so this white tall being has got something to do with it I can't really see its head so we'll see maybe I can see more but it's just standing in front of me <laughs> extremely tall and it has got to do with our evolution our um, I hear opening up our consciousness and seeing more, seeing what is around us. Mm. They are also showing me how they cloak their, um, <laughs> this is confirmation, how they cloak their homes. And with homes, they are talking about their ships that are on earth, around earth, surrounding earth. <laughs> They are all around us, so um, many of you have seen some of them already. Some of you have seen them in their teens or when they were a child. They are saying if they come and show themselves to you, it is for a very good reason. It's because you need to step into your power. Mm. everyone who's um, having accidents even if there are small accidents this is they say the universe talking to you they are talking to you you will feel really or extremely relieved when you start stepping into who you are fully um, they are helping you with this um, there's something about a strategy as well or planning things I need to activate my crystals two seconds 
sorry about that. I have a, a lamp with crystals and um, this just needed to be activated right now. So <laughs> oh, maybe this is a sign for you to, to um, <clears throat> as soon as you get an intuition, you know, an idea, something that comes in, follow it. Don't, don't think, follow it. Just follow it. Um, get it. Especially if it's a good thing, right? If it's like, using crystals or um, helping someone um, or doing good or giving you know saying something nice to someone what can you lose if you are being in your loving authentic self you can't lose anything this is something we were programmed to believe that we lose <clears throat> that we lose our face our honor our whatever it is we can't <clears throat> because we are high dimensional beings that's what i hear layers are being shed layers are being shed so you might not feel um very light or happy or you might have some um you know i hear stuffy nose or headaches or pains in your back or um, you know, uh, worries with walking. I can see snakes again. Snakes are being <coughs> removed, and with snakes, <coughs> they don't want me to talk. These snakes, the snakes, I'm not talking about the good snakes because we love snakes, right? But um, they're showing snakes to. Um, they mean people with ways like snakes and foxes. I don't know why that, that comes through, but you're <clears throat> shedding layers. So you're also <clears throat> trying to um, release everything that doesn't belong to you anymore that you thought is part of you which is not um get it you're stripping off everything that um isn't for your highest good there are um <clears throat> they are looking at you and it's as if they were sending little stars down into your bodies to lighten up and to it's you know when you have sudden ideas <clears throat> you don't know where they are coming from <clears throat> this is something you need to focus on inside of your body and um they're saying if it comes from your mind if you think it's coming from your <clears throat> thoughts your mind um They come through your mind as well, but some of like to be able to do so, you must have cleared your thoughts. So it depends on how much work you have done on yourself, because some of you are getting uh, physical signs or physical um messages and others are getting them through just knowing or you know our senses our um i hear enlightened senses as well some of you have um are being or getting stronger in or hmm, it's it's they're not being extremely clear but it, it depends on who you are how you are getting information and stay open to get them in another way than what you're used to <clears throat> i see a lot of people upside down so a lot of people have changed their minds about you or about what you're doing or your life mission or it's about changing um, the belief system 
it is changing and you're being valued or being recognized or you're coming into success or something especially if you if you're living your true self more and more every single day you will receive all the stars i'm <laughs> that's how they talk use your light language because you have you know you every one of you has their own light language that they can use especially if they feel physical pain or a blocked chakra somewhere um or if they need to connect with their dragon or um, home or telos I hear so the inner earth some of you are using crystals to do this so don't um, <clears throat> don't try to do it um, the same way as someone else is doing it listen to yourself um, but we all have our inner light language personal light language um ara te kere eta kara ara ara ntara ito koro to kere isa ikoro to koro shikere eta kai taka eta kere imakleg um i also need to talk about souls that are being stuck between earth and the light so um i'm they're saying they are helping those souls also um release or um it's as if they were sending them light or understanding or um, another perspective or something or they send them light workers that free them these are light workers that are talking to um, souls and if you are asked to do something do it because everything that is Not everything but mm, how can you how can you need to you need to use your discernment so I hope I'm talking to highly evolved beings here because I don't want to say anything wrong someone that hasn't received this new perspective yet or isn't in the new perspective won't understand and will use it to their detriment are here so it's um, extremely important to listen to your intuition if you feel like doing something you do it if you don't feel like doing something you say no use your throat chakra saying no is extremely important if you can't say it write it down if you can't write it down you um, use your body to show a no <clears throat> some of you are, have um, connections to Incas and Telos comes um, or Lemuria comes up again and you know what this this white this tall white being um reminds me of a very tall tree because it's just not moving it's just standing there but it's not a tree it's not a tree it's as if it had um its head in the clouds and we can't see its head so some of you might not be able to see their spirit guides or um i hear the alien they want to see so <laughs> you might have wanted to connect to extraterrestrials or have done meditations or have just seen parts of other beings higher dimensional beings and um I hear keep up the good work so <laughs> don't worry about it okay if you see just a hand a finger <laughs> a foot a ear, it doesn't matter you just keep on doing the good work because you have already seen something your conscious um your consciousness has grown or opened up or they are showing um dolphins as well so maybe syrian energy is important or Thinking like a dolphin, I hear. Ai koro o te kere isai tai indoro to koro shikete ila kirai kad to koro o te kere si 
and I, I need a little bit to go. I hear this is a time of action, but some of you, their action needs to be relaxing. So if you are someone who has always been Speedy Gonzalez <laughs> running around everywhere and not um, has never learned to breathe and calm their system down, your action is this, is calming down and in trying to enjoy breathing in and out and feeling your body parts maybe ain tokoro o te kiti sai toro tokore te kere i shaka i to tora kere i ain garo tokoro te kere eta more and more of you are looking up to the stars because um <laughs> you can feel their presence but it's unconscious so um you look up at the stars and you see the stars um but what your soul is really looking at is their ships and their, I hear wisdom. So you can even see their wisdom or you can even by looking up to the stars, you can receive wisdom. And they're showing me snakes again. This is shedding yes snakes are shedding their skin right so we are shedding layers and skin and old skin especially we are growing out of who we were and uh, what we were supposed to do and we are listening to the inner guidance and our boss is God or our boss is the universe so we are basically starting to you know listen to ourselves because the voice we hear inside of us or the pulls that we get or the idea the sudden ideas are um, the missions we get okay so some of you um, might suddenly get a mission that is um, telling them to move somewhere else or to go on a trip to up north I hear it's like <clears throat> North Node, I hear your mission. You are called to <clears throat> to step into your soul mission, um, and you are being valued, or you will be seen. If you are not living your purpose yet, don't worry about it. Don't be timid. Don't be scared. You won't be misunderstood because they are. A lot of us doing the same thing and we need to um, collaborate we need to work together we are a huge community coming together and nothing can stop us so this white being is looking a bit like a puppet on strings Um, I hear it's just a decision away. They are really understanding and feeling what you are. I can see someone who's working two jobs and having to do so to get enough money to survive and for their kids and they can understand your pain and your um, your doubts and your fear. They can understand. They are not asking you to throw away everything you have and just, you know, <laughs> not do anything and just listen to your inner voice a hundred percent. They they are saying start off with following one thought and seeing what how it works out and 
following the intuition that comes in without thinking once it's they are saying step by step so kira itokoro sikrem parakoro tokore likire ishtakara itakoro step by step some of you are already running <laughs> others are doing little tiny steps and they are saying it is good whatever you are doing it is good and you can't compare and no one compares to you either so don't compare and don't try to do it the same way others do it because you are not the others you are you antare ire kara sakara ishukuru takeli ikai ka tututukura i see someone biting something kare intakara atakuru takeli ishikita atakeli listen to your animals because the animals they have they feel more things and they show you in the real world in the 3d world they show you what needs to be done and don't force i hear forcing is something from the past <laughs> so trying to force things or trying to change things even if they are not the you know when they are not the way we want to have them don't try to change them just accept <laughs> just decide that everything is okay and good the way it is and move on i think it is if you need um, or if you want to connect more with your I hear inner guidance and your spirit guides and your because you have star seeds or no you are a star seed you have star families looking over you so if you want to connect with them more you can do this through meditation and I hear that um, it needs to be something that calms your system your nervous system down so whatever you want to do or however you meditate it needs to be something that calms your nervous system because you will be much more open and see much more if your system can calm down and i also hear again out of body experience so some of you are doing astral travels or a lot and they feel um sometimes very tired so make sure you sleep enough during this time Kira, and because some of you are working at night or working um, um, their souls are working somewhere else <laughs> so you not only have one or two jobs you sometimes have four or five because you are multi-dimensional beings we are all multi-dimensional beings so we can do multiple things at the same time Okay, that's why it's extremely important to call back your energy every single day. I will say that <laughs> times and times again. So call back your energy, make sure. And I can see a, a black stone. Maybe it's a black crystal. I also hear shungit. Some of you are using shungits, uh, shungit stones to raise their frequency or help them with whatever needs to be fought off you're being extremely appreciated so you need to know that they are loving you and they are extremely proud of you and they're just waiting that um to to come through they're waiting for little the little tiny moments where you connect consciously with them because we need to decide that we want to connect with them to see them to hear them to have a stronger connection so this is something we need to do every single day <clears throat> if we <clears throat> want to have um a very strong connection and they also say they want to um send you through your light language or <laughs> helping you with with light codes so um accept accept 
what is around you and and love yourself because they're saying it has got to do um, a lot with loving ourselves to step into our power and be who we are <clears throat> and speak up <clears throat> and feeling understood because if you understand yourself others will kiri imkaroto kare tikit sakaroto kare isheketi ila kare ikuroto kuroto kare intakare isakata karo lokro takare takoro otakare itikshuroto kare kare lokro takare ikuroto kare tikit otakale imakuroto kare atakare sekero ora kare imakuroto kolo yeketi this is extremely interesting because this white being has looked like a huge puppet on a, on strings but has now um, become something it's it's as if it was made out of eggshells and it has um, it looks a bit like a dragon head because it has um, the features of a head of a dragon like we know them from films <laughs> it's it's white it's it's getting <clears throat> more and more white and its eyes are changing as well because they are being yellow and then changing into blue and then light blue and then white and the eyes are changing so this is telling me souls are changing their path or they have realized um, they were on the wrong path or and snakes again it's got something to do with snakes i am not sure what this is all about but maybe we are just we have grown out of our own skins and um, we are ready for higher a higher meaning higher mission higher paths higher something higher connect with them they're being extremely grateful as always there's something red they're showing me something red this is not for everyone this is just for someone i guess something red that is that needs to be let go of I don't know what it is, but it's something that you can put in a cupboard or or something that you can... I'm not sure, because they're showing me different items in red. So some of you have a red item that they need to let go of. And you you will know if it's... You will know. Um, some of your plants need more water. You might have ringing in your ears, which is a good sign, especially if it's a high pitch noise. Always a good sign. Keep on go doing your work and doing whatever you're doing. And that that You will um, be able to breathe better. Some of you need to let go of smoking because it has got something to do with the lungs or the region the, 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 where they are living, something with um, the area they are in or the I hear purifying the air. Someone needs to change a filter, something that is filtering air or <coughs> if you if you do chakra clearings that would be a good idea as well. I hear all 12 chakras, not only the seven. So if you've always cleared your seven chakras, change and go and, and clear um, some more. <laughs> because you are having this connection to above. Um, 
I'm getting a bit agitated. So this is an energy um, that is or that will go away if you pers um, pursue this path or keep on calming your nervous system down. Um, and they say that it's not um, about time. It's not about how long you are calming your nervous system down. It's about how often you do it. Inantanda sokoro toko 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 ti iteki iya makata o toko teki iya teki le ina ika ai shoko toko toko ta iteki te e anakara arago kere anakara arago to ye tai goro toko ro teki re se they will be back very soon and um they are sending you all their love and all their stars because they are sending you stars. <laughs> stars it's looking a bit like stars falling off the sky and falling into your body and being you know your body being um, enlightened you might um, you might even feel it some of you even feel this <clears throat> it's like a popping up or suddenly you want to pop up and speak up and it just comes out authentically so mm, live this truth this is a good path yes just keep on doing whatever you have been doing because you are um, on your soul path they are extremely grateful and um, <laughs> honored to work with us. Um, and it's um, a funny feeling because um, I feel honored to work with them or be able to do this light language transmission for you. And um, maybe it's also a sign for you to look at your life and see what um, the mirroring is what is happening outside of you because it's a reflection or, of what is happening inside of you don't be scared of yourself okay <clears throat> we will be back soon we'll be back soon so they they will be back soon <laughs> I'm looking forward um, to seeing you again or feeling you again <laughs> And um, thank you so much for being here. Love you. Mm, take care.